Hello, this is Peter with another video. Today I'm going to do an update on my Musabaji banana plants. As you can see, um, I've definitely grown quite a bit this year so far. They're at least six foot up to the uh, the part where this where the leaves are coming out on this main plant, and even this um, pup at the side is almost the same size now. And then you can see up here where the leaves are starting to come out. Um, much beyond anywhere I can reach must be at least another four or five feet you can see down here we have a number of smaller pups um, starting to come up as well we've got some small ones at the back um, a few that have grown quite quickly this one in particular as I saw took it has grown um, pretty much over the last month or two I think there's a few smaller ones under here as well. See, so yeah, you can see there's a few smaller ones on this side here under the mulch. I have removed a few pups. Um, I give one away um, as well. And there's probably, probably going to have to remove a few of those at the side there because I don't want it growing in this direction anymore. Um, I want to try and keep it to this side here so I'm going to keep um, these in this area here and the rest eventually I'll keep this one because it's quite big but once if any more come out on that side I'm going to just remove them um, try and direct its energy to push um, pups out on this side instead but yeah it's pretty difficult to um, show the full scale of this now um, as I have to stand quite far back to be able to see the whole plant um, but yeah, even though we've had a much cooler summer than last year, it has still been growing um, reasonably well. Definitely been pushing leaves out much slower than I'd like it to. So now I might be pushing a, a leaf every week out at this time of year. Um, but it's probably been pushing out one every two to three weeks um, over July. Um, although I'm hoping it will start to speed up a little bit now that the weather's improved a bit. Um, that being said, the rain we've had is definitely definitely not going to hurt it. Um, bananas definitely like a lot of moisture. But yeah, it's definitely doing pretty well. I don't think it's going to flower this year. Perhaps next year, if we're lucky. Yeah, perhaps if we can keep it alive again for another winter, for a third winter, we might be able to get a flower out of this eventually. Um, but yes, I don't think it's going to flower this year. You might also be able to see a lot of the leaves um, have got ripped as we had a lot of strong winds um, back in July in particular. So most of the leaves have got completely shredded. And also now that the, the plant is um, above the wall, all the leaves are fully exposed to the wind, or more or less, at least from the... Um, west south and west directions um they are protected a bit from the north and east because of the house but yeah the um the lower um pups you can see have immaculate leaves they've not got any damage to them but yeah as soon as they get above the wall um and above the height of the rest of the banana plant um they do get completely shredded in the wind but it doesn't really harm the plant. Um, it's designed to, to rip along these uh, these edges here. It's a design mechanism to stop it from blowing over in strong winds. Um, so yeah, it doesn't harm your plant if you, if you get uh, ripped leaves like this. Although I must admit it doesn't look quite as, uh, as appealing. But yeah, um, Overall, it's doing quite well. Um, I noticed last year the um, it seemed to be August and September. It did push out more growth um, than it did in June and July. Um, so I'm hoping that'll be the same again this year. Um, and yeah, I'll definitely keep everyone updated with the progress um, of this Musa Baji. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll be sure to keep you all updated of how it gets on. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.